so all packed to Tunisia everything's ready paper is ready uh, bike is actually very neatly packed everything is in its place what is so surprising is that the Turkanas are half empty so as I moved the tent and everything to the well, tent and sleeping bag I moved to the tracker and then you have the six liters in the front of the, <laughs> the bags the bags are almost half empty and I had to take a extra t-shirt extra jacket and extra pair of shorts which obviously shorts in this time of year is a little bit that way and it's snowing it is quite romantic although tomorrow 800 kilometers in the snow is not gonna be i guess less romantic but hopefully we'll get to the summer <laughs> eventually well the first stop covid test uh, hopefully it arrives in 24 hours for the uh, ferry. Um, now jump onto the bike and off we go to Trento. This is not because of the rain, it's because it's bloody cold. And uh, water beside the best wind protection. Off we go. Worst thing on bloody when riding, it's just get down there. Oh, through all the layers. The glamorous teleportation stages. <laughs> I don't see anything else then. Petrol station, toilet, and if you're lucky, it's a restaurant. Off we go. 505 kilometers to Innsbruck. That's the German border. The disadvantage of drinking a lot of hot tea is, well, effectively pissing out a lot of hot tea. Germany blessed me with the wonderful weather so far. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. That was um, better than last time. Oh, look at that! Haha, <laughs> snow! Alps, Alps, Alps. Well, that's all about Grenz control. Brenner. Sorry? Okay, leaving this little small village of Meza something. Very nice uh, views. And by the way, these vineyards is all with the agriturismo, which I say. This is 40 euros in Tyrol. I mean, the room is pretty cool, but for me, what was most amazing was that really hot shower um, nice area to overnight on the genoa route to be honest and it was really nice to print out all the documents for me and everything which uh, arrived overnight for a uh, successful Tunisian well almost there this is the most expensive fuel ever. <laughs> Made it to Genoa. It's uh, sunny and congested. Okay, you can be. Front way. Yes. Look at the white truck. White truck. Cross the white truck and turn left. Okay. Do you have a ticket of a return? No, no, because I'm going to Sicily. You come back to Sicily? Po, yeah, yeah. Okay. see, see, see. Okay. For going to Tunis, you must have the ticket of return and a reservation in the hotel from tomorrow to the ticket of return. But I'm going to stay for two months. Understand, but it's good for tourism. You are tourists. 
and from that point it all went downhill <laughs> uh, for a very long time actually so um, I have to say one thing out loud um, and be honest about it I have not done um, research properly and I missed one crucial piece of information and that was the GNV website yes uh, but the reason was that I'd done a lot of research with my hosts actually in Tunisia um, and a lot of other people in Tunisia to verify that the border is open and what are the regulations to enter Tunisia and it didn't really occur to me that the tally would be a problem and I also checked on the Czech website from the government mm -hmm. Um, and they said, yes, till uh, end of January, there are some problems in Italy. So I rebooked my ferry to 2nd of February. Um, so I thought, fine. And I didn't read the GNV. Now, what this gentleman said is actually written in there. And there's more, <laughs> which they didn't really care about. But they cared specifically about return ticket and the booking of the hotel for whole duration of a stay. So I went to the GNV office he sent me to. There was another member of staff and we agreed on two weeks um, return ticket from uh, Tunisia to Sicily. There was no problem. I was happy to buy it. And then there was the issue with the hotel. So I gave them my Airbnb booking, which effectively booked it for that time. And they declined it because there was a house. It, there's a house for research in Tunis. Um, and I was like, well, but this is accommodation is booked. And it's like, no, 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 it needs to be hotel. So I'm like, okay, fine. Can I book it on a booking.com? No, you cannot because you will cancel it and you will stay in your accommodation. I'm like, well, you should not even say that. Um, and they were like, well, you know, but no booking. And I'm like, okay, well, we need to sort it out somehow, right? Because I want to go and I'm happy to pay. It's not a problem. It's like, yeah, but just book some hotel, but not on a booking. And I'm like, okay, but well, what if it's a booking.com booking, which is non-refundable and prepaid? And they were like, well, so I went on, found the booking, showed it to them. And uh, they were almost budging that, yeah, okay. But then there was a little banner about the COVID information and they said, no, no, this is refundable. And then I knew that they just don't want to let me on the ferry because <laughs> it was prepaid, non-refundable booking. And you cannot do much at that point. So that get me here, really, because I went out and I really didn't want to give up on the Tunisia. So I was looking for a place where which um, I can stay and uh, buy myself some time, sort out the new paperwork. And I found that. And on the same day from Livorno, there is another ferry to little, tiny, islandish paradise, Italian one, which gets me closer to Tunisia. So I jumped on the bike and uh, went for the ferry. Oh, look at that! Ferry! What a novelty today! <laughs> Second ferry of the day. Uh, this time I got a little bit closer. Uh, I can see a ferry, so um, that's cool. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. This is exciting. Very exciting. Your COVID card? Yes. Not many bikers here. <laughs> that's a ferry. And um, yeah, adventure continues. Definitely. Um, See you tomorrow, baby. Let's find some spots to sleep. Because I'm too cheap to pay for the cabin. I'm gonna, as usual, <laughs> camp on the floor. <laughs> After today drove us, I would almost not believe that this is gonna happen. It is not very to Tunisia, of course. But it is the ferry nevertheless, and it's gonna get me closer to Tunisia. Not too much, but a little bit, which is worth it. Oh.